Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you, well, about this afternoon for a album review, the next album review, and this is for Korn's new album, Requiem, the long-anticipated album I've been waiting for for quite a few months uh, since Start the Healing came out back in November, and yeah, I'm pretty excited to review this, so... Yeah, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this uh, nine-track album, which there is an extra track, but that may have to be a separate track review that I do sometime by this weekend or maybe at least by Monday or so when I'm able to find the song. But yeah, I'll let you know what I thought of this album review or this album that I listened to for Corn Requiem. So let's dive into this review. Now, sorry for the lengthy intro. I usually sometimes make lengthy intros. I just noticed that my YouTube or whatever is messing with my videos. And I don't know, they're mixing around my videos. And that's kind of concerning me because people can't tune in to newest videos or see latest videos that I post and all that so I don't fucking know what's going on it's either on YouTube Zen or a troll's messing with my account so yeah um but basically yeah what did I think of this album it's pretty good uh I probably might have to still give the same rating for Lost in the Granger the 3.5 out of 5 rating, because it's not really my favorite song, because uh, Jonathan Davis's vocals don't sound like he's at his best with his vocal pitches in the song. It's not a bad song at the bridge part. The bridge part is the best part, but I just don't know if I feel for Lost in the Granger. It's one of the least favorites, but every other song on here is a banger. For sure. So, the Lost in the Granger song definitely downgraded the rating of what it's going to get now. Because um, I thought I was going to like that song, but I just, I don't know. I don't think I should give it a 4.5 out of 5. I don't think it deserves it, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, but Forgotten, really good song to open the album. Let the Dark Do the Rest was pretty good. Uh, pretty heavy, so Start the Healing, my personal favorite song from the album, um, love, love it as a single, love it when it came out, or when it came out, I meant to say, sorry if it sounded weird the way I said it, <laughs> uh, but still, Start the Healing is getting a 5 out of 5, and so is Let the Dark Do the Rest, same rating. Uh, Lost in the Granger, my least favorite. I'm just not feeling for that one. It, I know some people may like it, and that's fine. I just personally didn't find it to be my favorite song off this album. But it's okay. Uh, the rest of the songs did very well, so that's good. Uh, Disconnect is a really good one. Hopeless and Beaten, pretty good song. Loved it from start to finish. Uh, Penance to Sorrow, pretty heavy stuff. Pretty much what you're going to get from this album is very heavy riffs, chunky riffs, I should say, from the guitars. Um, pretty heavy drum work. And yeah, Ray Luzier uh, has great uh, drumming in this album. My Confession did sound a little weird, but... That was what I was used to because I've listened to Korn for quite a while. And Jonathan Davis had weird vocal pitches in the song. Like, kind of creepy vocal pitches. But it actually worked for the song to execute very well. So, my confession's getting a 5 out of 5. And finally, Worst is on its way is a great way to end the album. Um, he does the... Or whatever, the you da 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 da, or whatever, uh, that do 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 da da da, or whatever, that weird uh, vocal pitch in the song. 
Uh, I don't know how... He just mumbles and screams it a bit, and it sounds pretty cool. But also, that's what Korn is used to. It's, uh, it's a kind of a reminiscing feeling from uh, their older albums. Like, uh, they did it with uh, Rotting in Vain. The kind of yes or whatever. I don't know how it goes or whatever, but I might be saying it wrong or trying to sing it wrong. But that's how it was sounding. So it was actually pretty good. So worst on its worst is on its way. I meant to say is getting a five out of five. So overall production, mixing, and execution. Re Requiem by Corn, pretty good stuff. I was not that disappointed with this album. Um, the only song I was disappointed in was Lost in the Granger, but that's just my least favorite. It's an average song, it's just... Mm, I only like the bridge of the song. Uh, everything else kind of fell flat for me, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. But I thought I was going to like it. And then I realized, you know what, maybe I'll just downgrade it again. Because I don't know if I was feeling for that song. But overall, I think Corn Requiem was a pretty good album. Highly recommend you check this album out when it comes out at midnight tonight. And first score for me, I'm going to give Corn Requiem an 8.5 out of 10. So it was a pretty good album. It's not as good as The Nothing, but... It's still a pretty good listen for nine tracks, but it is pretty short, honestly, so you're not in for a very long listen. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this review. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the new Korn album, Requiem, if you've heard it. I found it for download this morning, so I just wanted to download it this morning because, yeah, I just wanted to own it. And I do have the CD version of it coming. It's probably going to take a few days or so till it gets to my house. So, because I have to wait like two, three days after it releases to get the CD. Because they're shipping it out tomorrow. Uh, so, and I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering as it is his new album too. Because I quite enjoyed it. Uh, not to the extent where I loved it, but it was good for what it was. So, yeah. If you did enjoy this, uh, well, like I said, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of Corn Requiem album. If you enjoyed this album review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. There's actually going to be some new songs I'm going to be reviewing tonight. And also the... Machine Gun Kelly special video where I'm going to rant about that person. Uh, it's coming out tonight, or if at the latest, it'll be premiered or whatever on Friday the 4th. So I'll do what I can to get it out as quickly as possible. I'm just running a bit behind on some videos. Uh... Well, I'm just having to delay that video to tonight sometime, but I'll let you guys know when I upload it for sure. But I hope you enjoyed this Corn Requiem album review. I did enjoy this album. It's pretty good. Definitely get your hands on it if you haven't pre-ordered it yet. It's definitely worth it. It's ten sixty nine on Amazon, uh, but you got to pay the shipping costs for Amazon and all that. I paid the five ninety nine shipping. So, I just wanted to do that because I did not want to pay, like, $9.99 for shipping to get it on release date, uh, release day or whatever, because, no, that's kind of ridiculous, because, yeah, but it, but like I said, uh, stay safe, guys, take care, sorry for pausing and slipping up a bit in this review i was trying not to i was just trying to make a as good of a review as i can because this is a new album review so as always i will see you in my next review